Hi friends, today we have a topic UNESCO Global Geoparks. Okay, so we know that UNESCO is having UNESCO's MAB program or the Biosphere Research program, then UNESCO's World Heritage Sites, and UNESCO is also having a third program to protect the environment, and that is UNESCO's Global Geoparks. So, UNESCO Global Geoparks, they are a unified geographical areas where the sites and landscapes of international geographical significance okay if any sites and landscapes are there which is having international geographical significance that will be managed with a concept of protection education and sustainable development okay so unesco global geoparks are a unified geographical areas where the sites and landscapes of international geological significance are managed with a concept of protection, education and sustainable development. So, other than the MAB program or the other than the Bias Reserve and World Heritage concept, UNESCO is having a third concept of protection of environment or geology and that is called as UNESCO's Global Geoparks. So, this Global Geopark of UNESCO, it uses the geological heritage, okay. But you have to know that it is not only dealing with geology. Even though the na name says that Global Geopark, don't think that they are dealing with only geology okay they are not only dealing with geology they are also dealing with natural and cultural heritage unesco's global geopark uses geological heritage in connection with all other uh, aspect of the area's natural and cultural heritage okay so ge global geoparks of unesco deals with geology its natural and cultural heritage okay so the global geopark uses the geological heritage area's natural heritage and cultural heritage to enhance awareness and the understanding of key issues facing society. For example, how we can use the earth resources sustainably and how we can mitigate the effects of climate change and reducing the natural disasters. Okay, so we know that UNESCO's programs are trying to empower the community or the people, right? So as do this UNESCO global geoparks are also dealing with empowering the local communities. Okay, so UNESCO Global Geoparks empower the local communities and give them the opportunity to, to develop cohesive partnerships with the common goal of promoting the area's significant geological processes, features, periods of time, uh, historical themes linked to geology or outstanding geological beauty. Okay, so Global Geoparks try to promote the area's significant geological processes, uh, their historical themes linked to geology and the geological beauty, all these kinds are promoted by the uh, geological uh, global geoparks. So, we know that in order to protect these kinds of areas, we require the bottom up approach. Okay, we require the participants of the local communities also, right. So, this UNESCO's global geoparks are established through a bottom up process involving the all stakeholders, that means all communities, the local people, regional stakeholders, or the authorities present there. Okay, so global geoparks are established through a bottom up process involving all the relevant local and regional stakeholders or and all the authorities present in that area. For example, there will be landowners will be there, communities will be there, okay, tourism providers will be there, uh, indigenous people will be there, local organization will be there, all of them will be combined together in this process. Now, one main point you have to remember regarding the global geoparks is or one main difference between Global Geoparks and other process of the UNESCO is that means the difference between Global Geopark and the Biosphere Reserve and the Natural World Heritage Sites are. We know that when a region is declared as a Biosphere Reserve, it remains as the Biosphere Reserve. And when a region is declared as a Natural Heritage Site or a Heritage Site, it remains as World Heritage Site. Okay. But regarding the Global Geoparks, there is a revalidation process. Okay. So, if this year we are declaring an area as global geoparks in order to retain that status there is a revalidation process again okay after fulfilling that only the site can retain the uh, geopark status otherwise it will lose the geopark status that is one main point you have to remember regarding the global geoparks so once a unesco global geopark is not always a unesco global geopark that means there is a, a revalidation process of unesco global geoparks so the unesco Global Geoparks designation will be given for a period of 4 years only, okay. After that, it should undergo the revalidation process where they will check the functioning and the quality of that Geoparks, okay. So, by the revalidation process, they will check the functioning as well as the quality of the UNESCO Global Geoparks site, right. 
after fulfilling that respective conditions only they will retain the status so the geopark designation will be given for a period of 4 years okay so as part of the revalidation process the management body of the global geopark they have to prepare a progress report okay and a field mission will be undertaken by two evaluators to revalidate the quality of the unesco geopark okay so on the basis of this field evaluation report only they will get the status again okay suppose the site fulfills the criteria then they will be provided with a green card okay that means they can retain the status of geopark so if the site fulfill the criteria then the site can again have the designation for furthermore four years okay that means they will get the green card right now suppose think that if the site doesn't meet the criteria doesn't fulfill the criteria okay in that case the site will be given with a yellow card which means that within the two years period the management body have to take steps to meet the criteria okay that is what we call as yellow card okay so within this two year period if that management body takes necessary steps to meet the criteria then again they will get the green card after two years okay and think that the site does not fulfill the criteria after two years then they will be getting a red card that means they will lose its status of unesco global geopark so they will get the red card okay so this is the process of revalidation now this is one of the main point you have to remember a unesco global geopark is not only about the geology okay while a unesco global geopark must demonstrate geological heritage of international significance the purpose of a unesco global geopark is to explore develop and celebrate the links between that geological heritage and all other aspect of the area's natural cultural and intangible heritages okay so a unesco global geopark is not only about the geology it also counts about the aspect of areas natural cultural and intangible heritages okay so these are the main point you have to remember regarding the unesco global geopark now let's move on to the model question the reference to unesco global geopark sometimes seen in the news consider the following statements it empowers local communities and give them the opportunity to develop cohesive partnership with the common goal of promoting the area's significant uh, geological process so it's a correct statement right because it was empowering the local community right so first statement is correct then second statement once a unesco global geopark always a unesco global geopark that's a wrong statement right because there is a revalidation process every, after every four years there, there will be a revalidation process right so that's why second statement is wrong so if the second statement is wrong we can eliminate b c and d also already we know that first statement is correct that's why we already eliminated d now second statement is wrong so we eliminated b and c and we got the answer as a one only that means the third statement is also correct wrong okay that means unesco global geopark is about geology only no it is not it is not only dealing with the geology it is also dealing with the natural and cultural heritages right so third statement is also wrong so the answer is a one only